Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 12 volt 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Red Odeo. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. Alright, the first thing you get when you open it up is your uh, product informational packet right here. It's your product manual and some service and quick guides uh, information. And then also on top, you have your post bolts. It's two post bolts with uh, post bolt covers, a nice thick piece of styrofoam, and the battery. All right, now look at this 140 amp hour 12 volt battery compared to the other Red Odeo 12 volt 100 amp hour uh, marine battery that they have. These are both group 31 batteries. And you know what's anything strange? Yeah. They're exactly the same size. I mean, look at this. They're, they're the same case. They're exactly the same case. Just a different sticker. So I find it amazing that they can pack in an additional 40 amp hours or 40% more capacity in the same case. And there's also a bunch of other features about this battery that we're gonna get into right now. All right, like I said before, this battery is actually 140 amp hours. So that's 40% more capacity as in your 100 amp hour batteries, but in the same dimensions of a Group 31 case. Uh, this battery is also a smart battery, so you can download the Red Odeo app and see what's going on uh, inside the mechanics of the BMS, I guess you could say. Uh, also, it, is, uh, it has cold temperature charging protection. And speaking of the BMS, uh, it's an upgraded BMS. So instead of being able to do just 100 amps of continuous discharge, it can actually do 150 amps of continuous discharge. So what that means is if you would pair this with a 2000 watt inverter, um, you can easily power 90% of the appliances in your house. All of your small kitchen appliances, no problem. As for the dimensions of this battery, it is a group 31, so I'll go ahead and just put the dimensions right here. And when it comes to the weight, um, it weighs just a smidge under 28 pounds. And like I said, the BMS is upgraded, so it's 150 amp BMS. So uh, you can do a continuous charge of 140 amps and a continuous discharge of 150 amps. Now that equates to 1920 watts of continuous discharge. So if you, like I said, if you pair this with a 2000 watt inverter, I think that is a, a, a perfect combination. All right, so what should you do with your battery when you first get it out of the box? You should check the voltage to make sure that it is operational. So let's go ahead and do that now. And also what I've seen when these batteries come shipped to me, and they're the smart version of the battery, uh, in order to kind of keep them maintained properly, they actually shut off the BMS. So I wouldn't be surprised if this battery uh, doesn't come in at really any voltage at all. Uh, you know, it'd probably be like two or three volts because they did shut the, the BMS off. And if that does occur, you just need to have another 12 volt source, you know, like your car battery, something like that, and just touch the terminals together, the positive to positive, negative to negative, and it will wake that battery right up. But let's go ahead and check the voltage and see what it is. All right, and the voltage is, yeah, 3.14. So that means we need to wake this battery up. What I'm gonna use is my, my benchtop charger over here. We'll just turn it on. It's set for 13.6, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and just grab these leads and touch it to the battery for a second. There we go. It started to charge. Now let's check the voltage of the battery again. And it is 13.17, perfect. All right, well, I went ahead and just opened up my Red Audio app and uh, quickly just scanned the barcode or the QR code on top of the battery and it just added it right to my app with my other Red Audio battery. And let's go ahead and look at the screen for this battery. You can see that it is in standby and the state of charge is 52% and that is perfect for when you actually receive your battery. It should be right at that 50%. That means that the capacity is 76.4 amp hours left. The voltage it says is 13.2, which we measured to be 13.14 or seven or something like that, which is great. 
Uh, and it'll also show you the current and amps being taken out of or put into the battery and the power that that equates to. Um, underneath that you can actually see that it says balance uh, and it just tells you it tells you all cells are balanced. If you click on this, the battery it says the battery is in optimal condition and if you look at the BMS it says the BMS is working normally. Now those are very standard responses. It doesn't seem like this app is really going to tell you a lot about what's going on in the background. Uh, if you pull it up, you can see the battery information. The thing I don't like about it is the, the wording is like white on very light gray. So I can barely read what this even says. You know, but it does say device name, the serial number, and then I'm guessing temperature, uh, cycles, and um, oh, firmware, firmware version. Uh, but again, I can barely read it and I can't really read what, you know, what's actually going on with that section uh, unless I really stress. And then if you, you click on this button under device controls, it kind of gives you uh, some Bluetooth control uh, over, the, over the battery itself. So you can actually turn off the discharge function. So if there's something wrong, you can turn the battery off from your phone. Uh, just the discharge function. It won't turn the battery off completely. You can also remove this device from your app list and also you can actually turn off the BMS completely uh, from the app. But again, very standard beginner friendly stuff. All right, now that you've unpackaged your battery and you know that it's in working order, you want to go ahead and charge it up all the way to 140%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn it. Okay. All right, after you receive your battery and you know it's in uh, working order, go ahead and charge it up to 100%. And then if you have the ability, do a discharge test. I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up to 100%, which is 140 amp hours. And then we're gonna do a discharge test to make sure that we are getting the 140 amp hours that we paid for. So I'll get those results to you in just a second. All right, well, the capacity test is done for the Red Odeo 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And first, look at the capacity. It's 146.86 amp hours. So well above what they, uh, what they market it for. And if you look at the first 5%, it's over 13 volts, which is nice. But look, after 30%, it's still over 13 volts, which is, that's great. That's a nice stable voltage curve. And if you go all the way down to 95% of the capacity being used, you're still over 12.31 volts. So very nice stable discharge test for this battery. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the high amperage testing. All right, well I have the Red Audio 12 volt 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery connected to uh, all my stuff to test the high amperage and what it's going to be is we are going to be have it connected to a uh, 5,000 watt MX moon free pure sine wave inverter and that will be powering a uh, heat gun It will also be powering a, a, an elite uh, a Hot plate and also a new wave induction cooktop So what I'm going to do is since this battery says it can do a continuous 150 amps we're going to run uh, the heat gun and the new wave at like 600 watts and that should give us right around 150, possibly a little over. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so we'll start our heat gun. And the amperage on that is right around 100. So let's go ahead and start our new wave. We're going to set the wattage to 600 and max sear. Start. All right, and now our amperage is right around 160. So let's go ahead and power this for five minutes. And we'll see what it looks like when we're done. All right, well, it's been uh, five minutes and 20 seconds and we're still pulling 163 amps and it's pulled it without any issue whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step this up and I'm gonna keep stepping it up until it shuts off. So hopefully it shuts off around 200 amps, but we're just gonna keep going. So let's go ahead and bump this up to 900 watts. And now our amperage is climbing up to 190-ish. And 
Yeah, perfect. And it's shut off at 190. That's perfect. It's shut off at 190 amps, which is only like 25% higher than the, uh, the max continuous that it says it can do. So this battery is performing flawlessly. Uh, it also says it can do a 700 amp. Oh, geez. Oh my God. And it, and it turns back on after about 30 seconds. That kind of spooked me a little bit. Um, but again, it says it has a 700 amp surge for one second. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to power up my ShopSmith, see what happens. All right, I got my amp clamp set to maximum amperage capture and let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, it turned it right on. And it did capture 393 amps. So it can at least do that. I really don't have anything that can jump up to 700 amps. But to me, pulling 400 amps is pretty impressive. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and see if the uh, low temperature charging protection works on this battery. And it's gonna be nice because it is a smart battery, so we'll be able to see exactly what the temperature is. I'm gonna put it in an Iceco uh, portable refrigerator, and I'm gonna set that for 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should be right on that, right on that edge between freezing and not freezing. So I will do that. I'll be back in 24 hours, and let's give it a test. Okay, well, I just pulled out this Red Odeo 12 volt, 140 amp hour battery from my ice co car refrigerator. And it was set at 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like negative one, negative two degrees Celsius. And I want to see if the low temperature charging protection actually works. Let's go ahead and pull up the app on the screen as well and to make sure that uh, the BMS knows that it's under temperature. All right, and uh, as you really can't see on the app, which I hope you can see it, it does say that the temperature on the BMS and the cells is 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. So this shouldn't start charging. Now what's gonna happen is I've got this Litime uh, 20 amp battery charger right here, and right now it is flashing green. What's gonna happen is once I connect the negative connection, it will turn red, a solid red, for just a couple seconds until the battery realizes it's too cold and it will tell the battery charger to turn off. And then the battery charger will go to a solid green. So let's go ahead and just try it out. Let's go ahead and put the app back on here and we can watch the power and current going into the battery. And here we go. Solid red, current going into the battery, five amps, boom, and it shut off. That was perfect. That's exactly how cold temperature charging protection should work. All right, so what do I think of the Red Odeo 12 volt, 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? This thing, I believe, is perfect for just an emergency battery. These batteries can be paired, you know, four in parallel, four in series to make a huge battery bank. But this thing by itself with a 2000 watt inverter can power probably 95% of the items in your house. You know, all of your small appliances, your 1500 watt portable heaters, your portable air conditioners, just anything like that. Also, everything about this in my testing worked. It tested perfectly for everything. It gave us 146 amp hours, which is above what it says it'll do. It continuously did 160 amps uh, for five minutes because this is a 150 amp BMS. So, uh, so it's an upgraded BMS. Uh, and then when you went over, I think I went up to 190 amps and then the battery shut off after, you know, I, I can't remember, but I think it was like 30 seconds, something like that. And then after another 30 seconds, it just turns back on. And then I was able to connect it to my ShopSmith, pull 400 amps, battery started it up no problem. And it says that it can actually do a surge of 700 amps. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that can do that. Low temperature charging protection, check. It worked perfectly. BMS uh, said that it was 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And so when we tried to charge it, it immediately shut off after a second or two. So this really is, uh, I would say, a really 
nice battery. It's perfect, again, for just emergency purposes, but you can expand it out to a huge bank buying 16 of these. So if you have any questions about the Red Odeo 12 volt, 140 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, please go ahead and just leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item and everything else I used in this video in my description below. I also have an Amazon store, so please go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.